Hey friends, welcome to Music, Mood, and Mindset. I'm Krista, and this is the place where we talk about lyrics, songs, musicians, or basically anything music as a jumping off point to talk about mental health topics. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Rebecca Black, her returning, and her viral video Friday and all the fallout from it. And more importantly, we're going to be learning three new things that we can do if we're someone who, like Rebecca, has gone through public shame or symptoms of depression like she did when she was a teenager. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and want to see more content on music that goes into more mental health topics. I'll be honest with y'all. When Friday first came out in 2011, when I was in early college, I didn't think much of it. I just thought, oh, that's a funny video. But I think the reason why it's had such a negative effect on Rebecca and a lot of people have experienced similar things like she has when they perform, it's just this toxic attitude that music has to be good or it's almost like a moral sin. Like no wonder people are so terrified to get involved with actually creating music and why it's such a courageous act to do so. Because if you think back to just a couple of years ago when Fergie was performing the national anthem, she got so much hate, so much hate from that to the point where she even had to apologize to America about her singing and my hope is that the more we relate to music as a tool for our own wellness and mental health, that we let go of this toxic idea that all music has to be good or it's a moral sin. I'm gonna read you real quick her tweet because we could go over the ABC interview or Fantano's take on it, but I think a more concise way to go through it is to read her tweet and really understand the impact that Rebecca faced after Friday went viral on the internet and she became this public target. Nine years ago today, a music video for a song called Friday was uploaded to the internet. Above all things, I just wish I could go back and talk to my 13-year-old self who was terribly ashamed of herself and afraid of the world. To my 15-year-old self who felt like she had nobody to talk to about the depression she faced. To my 17-year-old self who would get to school only to get food thrown at her and her friends. To my 19-year-old self who had almost every producer and songwriter tell me they'd never work with me. Heck, to myself a few days ago who felt disgusting when she looked in the mirror. I'm trying to remind myself more and more that every day is a new opportunity to shift your reality and lift your spirit. You are not defined by any one choice or, what, or thing. Time heals and nothing is finite. It's a process that's never too late to begin. And so here we go. This might be a weird thing to post, but honestly feels so good, if nothing else. That's, that's a lot to unpack here. And it's really sad that that's actually what she was going through. She felt like she couldn't talk to anybody about her depression. She felt like totally alone in this situation, but it's really admirable that she is putting herself back out there into the public eye and that she's trying again with music. It's really inspiring. And for those of you out there who have been interested in music, who have felt too scared about people not thinking that you're good, you can really take a lot of inspiration from her. You know, arguably she experienced the very worst that is putting yourself out there with your music or really just taking a risk in life in general. And if she has the strength to get up and to continue on with her life, then, you know, we all do too. For those of you who don't know or who have never been to this channel before, I work as a board certified music therapist at mental health facilities. And what I've seen is that for a lot of people who do feel really alone in their depression symptoms or in their public shame or whatever mental health issue they're going through, sometimes it's because talking isn't the way that they feel most comfortable expressing themselves. And what I do as a music therapist is give people options to express themselves in a way that they feel more comfortable doing so. My hope is that if you are somebody who is feeling uncomfortable with expressing yourself in traditional talk therapy, that these tips are something that can help you if you're going through some of this stuff. 
All right, first tool that you can use if you are going through something similar to what Rebecca did with her symptoms of depression or with public shaming is to take a song that you deeply relate to that maybe the lyric says what you have been scared to say and share it with the person that you've been scared to tell that feeling to. Let the artist and the song speak for you. It's an incredible tool. It's worked really awesome with a bunch of people. Sometimes sharing with people how you feel is an impossible thing to do, depending on your personality type. Like if you're introverted or whatever your situation is, try it out, see how it works for you. Second tip that I can give you is being able to write out your feelings in the form of lyrics. Some people just aren't a super big fan of journaling and they really enjoy the process of songwriting. And trust me, I've done it with all kinds of folks. It's not as hard as you would think to do that, especially if you're not intending it to be out there on the charts. You're doing it for your own mental health and well-being. You're just doing it to get those feelings out. And write out a song and you could take it as far or not as far as you want to. It could just stay written on the paper or you could take it as far if you're someone who plays instruments or sings to make it into a full fledged song. And third tip I'll give you is being able to purge out some of those feelings that you're holding on to. This society of toxic positivity is just really wrecking so many people. In previous interviews, when Friday first came out, Rebecca would act like none of this affected her in any of the interviews that she gave after the video initially came out and it's not healthy and over time it builds up inside of you and you need an outlet to get all those feelings out of you that's healthy. So what you could do is listen to some songs that have lyrics or just sound the way that you feel, listen to them and just allow yourself to feel those feelings and get them out. And once you have this feeling of catharsis, switch to a song that you know makes you feel better or do something that you enjoy to lift your spirits back up. We don't want you to fall into like a sad song hole, listen to a full Adele album. We don't want any of that. Listen long enough to get those feelings out. My hope for all of us, if this is something we've gone through, or even if this is something that somebody close to us is going through, is that we have more options to help ourselves with our mental health. And music is one of the most powerful tools to help ourselves with our mental health. If you like this video, make sure to leave a comment on what you liked about it, what tip spoke to you the best, or your own opinions on Rebecca Black. And be sure to subscribe and like this video for more content on music, and music content with mental health takeaways. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.